coat. <laughs> hey, everybody calls me your wife anyway, so might as well wear her. Hey. hey. <laughs> you get jealous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, this works. This works. I like that it's gold. <laughs> we out here. I, I told him it's a little too much flair for him. Okay. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's who we cool. got. What up, what up? Oh, jeez. What are you about to do, guys? We're about to pick up the soupy. Oh. What you got? Uh, we're doing race gas stuff. Travis came by. We got everyone stopping by today. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. You. Get that first impression. Oh, oh, oh no, you. I killed it! <laughs> hey, you <Dude>. parked. <laughs> He's so excited. We got Chandler's 19 STI Series Gray and he's gonna go over some of the parts that he chose for his build. So let's talk about these. So we got Grimspeed boost controller, Grimspeed catalyst downpipe, uh, Grimspeed intake, injector dynamics, uh, 1050s, AEM fuel pump, uh, we got the Cobb, uh, was that the throttle body hose? Um, got some gaskets, got the Cobb V2 turbo inlet, Cobb fuel pressure regulator, Grim Speed up pipe with the external wastegate setup, and then a tile 38 millimeter wastegate. Ooh, and um, I think that's about it. Best color there is. Oh yeah. So he understands of this. We kind of talked about it. You guys have seen before. I really do suggest doing fuel rails and lines. We do know that this Cobb kit here may still have some fuel stutter no matter what it is inevitable it just depends car to car every car is different so some cars are worse than others meaning that this this is like an 05 STI fuel pressure regulator that Cobb sends in these whereas the 19s have a dual regulator setup so that's the main reason why we have issues because they get the pulse there makes it lean right around 2800 rpms and that's where you have that fuel stutter is what it's called so we will see how this does we we can do our best at tuning it out but it just depends on the car now he may not even notice it Fuel stutter is, I will probably notice it no matter what regardless, but we'll probably get it softened out enough to where you don't even notice it okay. our best, but this will be something that we would upgrade down the road, would be TGVs and fuel rails and lines. That's what I would recommend. This is gonna be a really tight fit in there with the factory TGV as well. So that'll be pretty interesting. This is actually pretty large, so we will see how it goes. It does have a relief, thankfully, for the TGV right there. Being a stock turbo car, I don't think we're going to have too many problems getting that in there, but an aftermarket turbo, that's when things start to get a little bit hard of fitting that into the car. But the rest of the parts are pretty much basic for you guys. The most known parts that I would recommend, and he's kind of talked to me before about what to do on it. So we are going to get the car up in the air. He's going to be helping us work on this today. Oh yeah. And we're going to get going on this. So I'm going to have him get the car up in the air for you guys, and then we will start going. Dang, I didn't know the boys were coming in. What's up, guys? Look at all the deer right there. Woo! Well, they're gonna be watching the whole time while we were working on this. Whoa, we are zoomed in. So, Chandler's over here. He got the intake box out for us. I got the car up in the air. He's gonna get the battery out of the way for us. And once we have the battery out of the way, then we can start moving along with getting this intake manifold off. We are gonna be pulling the intake manifold off because we have a turbo inlet. And you guys know how much I love that bolt on this TGV. Obviously we have that. So 
we're gonna pull the manifold. Uh, we have the external wastegate to do too, so we'll, we're just gonna go ahead and pull the turbo route because we already have the intake manifold off. It takes no time to pull the turbo out. And right now I'm gonna get the coolant system drained out so we don't have to worry about that going all over. And yeah, we'll just put in some clips as we go. This is something we're gonna be trying to get done within the next couple days, so I don't know how much we'll get to record, but I'll try to keep you guys along as much as I can with this. Well guys, we got this thing all tore apart and we are ready to start getting new parts put on here. So I was gonna do time lapse on this and to be honest with you, we just got caught up working on the car and as you can tell, the sun's about to go down. We got this thing all apart in about an hour and a half. We got a late start because he had to come up from Wenatchee. We also had to put the white car back on the ground so that way we could use our jack stands. So that's why it did take a bit to get this thing apart. But right now, we are just barbecuing some feud. Feud. We're barbecuing some food, and we're gonna eat, see how much daylight we got back, see how much light we got out here. We might try to get the external wastegate stuff on tonight, maybe get the ejectors put into the uh, intake manifold and get that back together. That would be really nice and get the turbo on. But we'll see where we get. Just a quick update for you guys. And if not, then you will see us in the morning. Morning guys, we're back out here and we still got Chandler's car up in the air. We got a ton done last night. We actually stayed up pretty late out here and just tried to get as far as we could so that way it made today the easiest as possible. So last night what ended up happening, we did get the external wastegate up pipe on the car. We got the turbo back on. We got the intake manifold off, pulled the injectors out, put the new injectors in, new turbo windmill on, and got it back on the car. So made quite a, the process progress last night um, this morning now we're just gonna start buttoning it up get it the rest of the way back together and get this thing started yeah excited oh yeah yeah it's coming yeah, it's almost done so we have been just knocking this out and it kind of it got pretty dark last night obviously so we couldn't really record that much but we'll see about how much we can record today and we'll get this all knocked out Boy, paint job? Mm -hmm. yeah, I can't, or no. I do. I still uh, need wrap I've seen on these new joints that I'm like, I like that. I, I told him it's a little too much flair for him. Okay. But, oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. It's Look who we clean. got. What up? What up? What up? Oh, jeez. Jeez. What are you about to do, guy? We're about to pick up the soupy. Oh, let me grab keys. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here's your Bugatti keys. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oops. Let's see the smile. Hey, you know, I'm already smiling. Sir came in from all the way from Boise. Yeah, I had to make the drive. Just to hear his pretty lady. Got in around 2 a.m. Get that first impression. Ooh. Oh, oh no, I killed it. <laughs> hey, you <Dude>. parked. <laughs> He's so excited, he can't even put it in gear. Can't even drive it. <laughs> I'm so stoked, bro. Thank you so that. much for fixing it up. 
Oh man, what are you doing right now? So good. Dude. Thank you, boss. Got her back. Sure. Got Woo. it. Thank you, bud. Yeah. Look at that. She sounds good. Uh, we're doing race gas stuff. Travis came by. We got everyone stopping by today. But we're getting ready to go out to a car meet tonight, so we're filling up both the cars. That way, if anyone wants to party, we're ready. This still counts as pump gas, right? This is pump gas, guys. We are pumping. We yes. are pumping the gas. So, as far as everyone knows, we're pump gas tonight, boys. <laughs> We're making good progress on Chandler's car. We had to go get some plugs. We forgot this one though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Darn it. We gotta go get some more plugs. But we have this thing about, what'd you say, 90% done? Yeah, you just got the fuel pump. Yeah. Put it back together, downpipe. Yeah, we're pretty much just fuel pump a downpipe at this point and intercore. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll be doing first startup soon. Camera's almost dead because I've been lacking on charging it and not recording much lately. So I will definitely try to get better again. Uh, we're gonna put the camera on the record and we're gonna be going out to a car meet tonight. So we'll take you guys along and hopefully we'll get some good footage for you. But this thing's almost done. I know he's getting excited. Hopefully we're gonna take this girl to meet too. Oh yeah. yeah. What's up, <laughs> for first startup. So he's gonna start this thing up and we are gonna bleed the coolant system. It does just have a top now. So we do have a check engine line on. We haven't put the map on the car yet. But we are gonna go ahead and bleed that coolant system now. Get everything good to go, make sure there's no leaks. Check it out. Good guys, we're just gonna let it get up to full temperature. What that means is we're gonna let the fans kick on, make sure the coolant system is 100% blood. And then once that happens, I'm gonna shut the car off. We're gonna look over the whole car, make sure everything looks good, make sure we don't have any oil coming from the turbo, down the return, the feed, just go over everything, make sure we don't have any coolant leaks. Because obviously this is just from when we fill the radiator, so we just have a little bit on the ground. But we'll go over the whole car. We're gonna leave that under tray off for the first drive. So that way we can see anything if it does happen. And then we wait and we will get the same tune. Right. Oh yeah. Fit me now. Little coat. <laughs> hey, everybody calls me your wife anyway, so might as well wear her. Hey. hey. <laughs> you getting jealous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, this works. That works. Look what we found. Here. Big car beat. There are so many people. This is not social distancing. <laughs> this is my kind of social distancing. Yeah. This is it. I think I think our kind of social distancing is gapping by two or three cars. Yes. That's 100 <laughs> percent Six car lengths, right? Six foot, yeah. six car lengths? That's gotta be a foot. Hey, I mean, I've already I'm already at the top of fourth gear doing a buck 40 and got like a bus length on them. Fucking throw fifth, make them sell. Exactly. <laughs> you just gotta keep going further. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, no, that's good. I love that. We did it. We're gonna go for Chandler's first ride in his car and he's gonna see exactly what this is like. Can you wait or what? Oh yeah, pumped. Car made really good power guys. I uh, just finished up tuning and we ended up making 300 wheel and 317 foot pounds. The car's on uh, 20 to 21 pounds. 
everything's working really well. The car is extremely happy, so I can't wait to see what he thinks of oh, it. Yeah. And then he's just cruising along here. His first impressions of drivability, he's already known night and day different. Mm -hmm. But it's much smoother. And we're gonna catch you guys up as soon as we get out into Mexico. So we're getting out here into Mexico, guys, and we're getting ready to do his first pull in the car. I can't wait to see how he feels because this thing feels really good. Oh, yeah. And 100 times better. I can't wait because this thing made really good power for the mods that we did. Everything is working the way it should. So we are just about ready. All right, guys, make sure I have this right. Small turbo, so we gotta go from first gear for him. But here we go. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Oh man. Try to hold this thing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> got a long trip to go so i will give you guys an overview of this engine bay when we get back so you can see the finished product and then we got to get his parts loaded up because well it's sunday it's mother's day and yep. he's got a mom <laughs> to go to or she's gonna be mad yeah <laughs> so i'll catch you guys up when we get back all right guys we got the finished product here of chandler's 19 sti series gray and man this thing came out really good we finished this thing off of a nice engine bay detail walked him through on how to do that and man this thing is so nice and clean now we got that grim speed intake all in there with its nice box so that's all in uh, we went ahead did an evap delete on this thing got rid of all these stupid valves here and in the way on the intake manifold gave me permission to do that so we cleaned that up a lot more the main reason why we did it on this car yes there is minimal mods compared to what we usually do this evap delete but with this very large cob intake it was going to make it hard and it wasn't going to bolt into its factory spot so we went ahead took the time and deleted them out of there and it looks way cleaner anyways and we got rid of the boost controller being here on that hot intake manifold i like to move these over to the side you can see it's on its own little mount over here shock tower so it stays nice and cool over here so we did that as well he also had a street series aos and you guys know that i like competition aos's so we went ahead converted it over to a competition aos on this thing because it had quite a bit of oil going through the intake manifold and inlet before with that street series that's why i don't like using them guys oil going through your intake system and back into the engine to get combusted is going to create detonation issues so it's just better to run that competition aos that's what we like to run this car we actually did something a little bit different we ran this cob fuel pressure regulator kit that he had already bought for it and to be honest it did really well we didn't have any kind of fuel stumble issues this has cob or id 1050x injectors so they have the plug and play adapters so that came out really good we got those on it still is using stock fuel rails we also did uh, am 340 in the tank for our fuel pump and we did this cob little guy here for dress up came out good and yeah this thing came out really good guys we've walked off some of these spots on the inlet as you can see here with some plugs so we cleaned that up a lot and what do you think guy oh it's it's awesome i mean not as powerful as a lot of the other ones but <laughs> just as fun to drive i'd assume so oh shoot oh yeah love it this so. thing is good to go definitely worth it so. definitely some good mods to do with it oh yeah uh they go from here he knows he's gonna do a front mount kit He's gonna do a larger turbo and probably equal length header will be the next steps for this car. Yep. And flex, flex fuel. fuel as well. So yeah. we'll be coming back to do that. But for right now, yeah. man, are you happy oh, with those yeah. numbers? Oh yeah. Yep. Solid 300 number there. Just what we were shooting for. So. Yep. Yeah, it's perfect. 
And again, guys, this is our low reading numbers that we have. Uh, this car makes 300 undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good number to throw at the car. There for us, we had that dyno log over, showed 300 and 317 foot pounds of torque, pump 92 fuel. So car feels very good. And we just finished up. He's loading up all his stock parts over here so he can go back and he's got a couple hour drive. Yep. So let's get this thing loaded up and that's probably gonna end out the video today for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's been a little bit since we posted, but it'll be worth it, I promise. So thanks for coming, buddy. No problem, thank you. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Oh yeah, we did. Good yeah. weekend. Till next time.